welcome back to my channel i just wanted to show you this mess up i did i swear that i leveled this off before i started but i just i it just it looks horrible so i really want to save the project um i really love the crystals on it so i cleaned up everything here's my cans that's how they're sitting up today um i cleaned up everything and i was like you know what i'm just gonna start over and that's the good thing about resin you can do that so this time i'm just showing you that i really have this level don't look at all the junk in the background i have stuff everywhere but you know what i know where everything is so i'm just making sure it's leveled so everything looks good let's go ahead and go so i am using this um, pigment paste black with my sand and of course my resin And now it's, it's kind of cold here. You know, I'm in Florida, but it's been chilly these past couple of days. So you can tell the resin's taking a little bit longer, especially with all the bubbles. But you can always use a little heater if you want it to get warmed up. But it, it gets warmed up as we go by, so I didn't worry about it too much. And it did set very, very well. I didn't have any problem. So here you just, I'm just really eyeing this. So I'm putting my sand in, my resin, my pigment paste, and I'm just mixing it up to see what the consistency is. As I go through this project, I did add more resin because I wanted it to be more fluid and my glitter, of course, because I want a little bit of shine to, to go with it. So it's looking good. We're going to mix it up. And I had to mix a lot of it because to get all the sand off the bottom of the, um, of the cup because you want to mix it up well because if not, you're going to have some sand that's going to come out lighter and then it's like got to start over and put some more sand on it. So I'm mixing it really well here. And when I start, I just start by, of course I wanna get it around my crystals to make sure that I have a nice even flow. So I did use this stick, I used a smaller one just to you know, get it in the little, all the nooks and crannies so it can look really, really nice. Again, I just wanted it to look nice and fluid. I had debated on going close around the crystals, but I'm glad I did because it just really flows really well. And I did forget to mention, I did use little um, glass shards around. I, I can't remember. I think I got this from Colorberry. But look how pretty it is. Did a freeze frame for you. So, and you really just put it around to where you are happy with it. I just wanted a, bit, a little bit of reflective. And as I go through and put some more resin on this later on, as I do my waves, I'll probably add some more, some more clear ones because I just want them to pop. So here we go, we're covering up this big mistake that I did. And it's looking good. I'm making sure I'm getting all the corners, everything, cause, cause I'd want it to really blend. I don't want to look like two different projects. Now, I did end up, um, cause I wanted to make sure everything was covered well. I did more resin, more resin sand. And then the second time that I did it, I actually used more resin uh, pigment paste and it came out um, darker blacker it looks really nice like that so i ended up putting it all around but it's looking really really good it's kind of nice to start off with that fresh canvas again right and here i just wanted to show you you know i do use my fingers get my fingers dirty i just use alcohol that 99 99 alcohol to um clean and i always have baby wipes everywhere so i have a whole bunch i buy it in bulk because, you know, I mess up quite a bit. And I'm, I'm messy. It's because I do like to get my fingers in it. Um, but that's why I just, I have the alcohol around. I don't try to change every single time. Because then I'm going to waste a lot of gloves. So that's what I do with my gloves. It works out pretty well. And I also use it to, like, before I touch my phone. So if I have to adjust or anything, I'll clean them off if I have to before I can adjust the phone. So here you can see what I was talking about. It's, it's uh, blacker here. So I just mix it in, but now you can see, you can even see the glitter. It looks really nice. I think it's looking so much better. <laughs> but I do like experimenting. I do like messing up and I do like um, trying to fix my mistakes little by little. So this is the, um, the color that I'm using. The Pearl Lesson is just beautiful i love the way it flows i love how it is underneath the ocean waves 
So here I'm mixing up. It is kind of still chilly. And actually, um, when I put it in, I just used all the leftover resin I had because this was the last step that I was going to do. I actually got some of it in the sand. So there it is, a little dot. So I just picked up some that dripped off, some of the black resin that dripped off and just put it on top. But the blue does look pretty with the sand. I love this color. And you can see too here, the reflection, I am wearing my face mask. Protection is the utmost importance to keep those lungs happy. So here I'm, I'm putting it on. So I'm just using all my leftover resin. Again, I just wanted to be nice, fluid, it's covering up all this other stuff. I don't know how I just started going so wrong on that. It's like kept going wrong. Um, and here as I'm putting it down, I noticed that, uh, no, actually, I didn't. There's a part in here. I'm waiting for it to come up. But anyway, I don't know what that little thing is called to move the um, the resin around. So if you know, let me know. Put it down in the comment part. Here it is. This is the part I was looking for. Um, cleaning my hands again before I touch my phone because I'm going to adjust it a little bit. But here it is. I always double glove. So if some reason there's just too much resin, I need some new gloves. Or if my glove breaks, I have another one underneath. So it's not a problem. So I always double glove, but I do clean to keep them good. So here's what it looks like before. Ugh, looked horrible. I don't know, this mess. And this is what it looks like now. So we're starting completely over. It looks beautiful. Thanks for watching in. I will upload the video as I start putting the ocean waves on it, but it looks great. It looks beautiful. Thank you for watching. And you know, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. You never go wrong. We can always start over. Always put my cups upside down so it drips out. So the next day I get it, it comes right out of the cup. So easy.